This is the 24-7 workhorse of America's electricity grid, nuclear energy. Well, nuclear energy really has a unique set of benefits in terms of electricity production. Uh, it's a large-scale, 24-7 producer of electricity uh, on a very large production volume. Uh, so nuclear energy plants produce a great deal of electricity from just one facility. Uh, also important in today's world is the fact that it produces electricity without producing any greenhouse gases. More than 100 reactors in 31 states safely generate electricity for one of every five American homes and businesses. Our industry is built on a commitment to safety. Safety built on four decades of experience and continuous learning. The global nuclear community has taken the accident in Japan very seriously and we're all looking at how we can further protect our plants against extreme natural events. Many countries have uh, undergone what they call stress tests. What we're doing in the United States is to go back into our safety programs and make a number of changes to our plant sites that would provide yet another layer of safety against severe natural events, whether those are earthquakes, floods, hurricanes. Um, we're really looking at first and foremost adding additional portable equipment around those plants to provide two critical things, power and cooling water to the plants. We really have a technical solution for managing the used fuel from our reactors in the United States. Uh, we store that on site at the plant sites in two different ways. Uh, when we take fuel out of the reactors, then uh, kept underwater and put into a large uh, concrete and steel lined pool where the uh, fuel uh, cools thermally and it lets some of the radiation dissipate as well. And that's the short term solution in the US. The longer term solution is really two paths either direct disposal in a repository, and there are repositories being built uh, in several different countries around the world. Uh, we have one that we're investigating in the United States. Or you can recycle or reprocess that fuel. Uh, countries like France and Russia already do that. Japan does it. Uh, in the United States uh, and elsewhere, we're building uh, the next generation of large reactors. Uh, in China and the U.S., we're building the AP-1000 uh, Westinghouse design. We're also looking at developing smaller scale reactors. So these would be much smaller reactors that could be built in developing countries or in smaller locations where you don't need the large power uh, plants. We're looking at the small scale reactors being able not only to produce electricity, but also to drive water desalinization uh, produce process heat for manufacturing, really a full range of, of benefits from those reactors.